Um, I'm Gavin Calhoun, and I did the book The Boy in the Striped by Pajamas by John Boyne. Um, basically, this book is set in Nazi Germany during World War II, and um, it's about a, two boys who become great friends. Um, one boy, it's really kind of like ironic because one boy is the son of a Nazi commander, and another boy is a Jewish concentra concentration camp inmate. So basically, how this happened is Bruno, who's the Nazi commander's son, when he's nine years old, they have to move to Berlin to this concentration camp. But like what he knows it as is out with. And because he's so young, he doesn't understand like what a concentration camp is or even that like that's where he moved. So like in the first few days when he was there, like the other commanders told him that there was this one place that was called out of bounds at all times with no exceptions. So, of course, being a nine-year-old boy, like, he used to, like, adventure some spirit and ventures out into the woods just to explore around just because it's the new place he lived. And he comes to this huge fence, and he sees another boy on the other side of the fence wearing striped pajamas. And he has an armband with a star on it, which basically says that he is like a concentration camp inmate but neither of the boys understand what it is like because they're both so young to like know what's going on like with world war ii they don't know why one's in a concentration camp they don't even know that it's a concentration camp they just think that there's this fence dividing them so bruno introduces himself and the boy's name is shmuel and they quickly become like friends and they realize they have the same birthday and they discuss their families and like Bruno the first time they meet he asks Shmuel like why there's so many people on the other side of the fence and like what they're doing there but like Shmuel can't answer because he really has no idea because he's too young to realize but basically their relationship like really flourishes throughout the whole entire book and then at the end of the book this is like really what where like the climax is at the end of the book um Shmuel asks Bruno he's like I can't find my father like I really want to find him will you help me find him so Bruno was like yeah I'll have to come under the fence and find it with you so Shmuel gets him a pair of striped pajamas um and Bruno puts on the pajamas and climbs under the fence and goes into the concentration camp with Shmuel to help him find his father and when the boys are searching for the father, um, the soldiers start herding up the prisoners to take them into a gas chamber where they're going to be killed. But like, because the or uh, because the um, soldiers are going so quickly, they don't notice that the boys got caught up in this herd. And in the end, the boys get um, put into the gas chamber, and they both die together. Like, even though it's like a really tragic ending. I really believe that it was a really good use of like this historical event because it really shows like the devastation that it caused to like all these people and it really used like the information well because because these boys were nine years old and completely oblivious to the situation that they basically just um, became friends and didn't know the difference between the war and uh, basically, I didn't make a connection to something we've learned in class, but one connection is basically just, like, to things in general. Like, people are constantly thinking that they're superior to, like, one another. Like, just, like, for example, like, in, during, like, the conflict between segregation, like, whites always thought they were superior to blacks, but, like, in the end, like, we're all the same. And, like, this one moment where, like, one boy by wearing the wrong clothes and being in the wrong place at the wrong time can be like completely like misjudged and he gets killed in the end and it's really like these boys they're really the same and there's only this fence dividing them and like people are constantly being put into like um different like stereotypes and not even that like they're a different religion and they're being killed based on that religion and it really doesn't make any sense because like this this example in this book really shows how like they're in the end like they're both the same like they both die 
in this gas chamber and they both like their and their lives end because of like one war that's based on a religion where like everyone shouldn't be judged on like what they think but like overall I thought this was a great book and I would definitely recommend it to someone else to read it because it gave a lot of historical like information but it also like really explained a good point of view from like both it was really good to see both sides of the story and like in the end you realize that like everyone's the same and that all of these differences we accuse of each other of are just dumb because in the end we're all equal and nobody should be judged based on what they believe or their religions but anyways i'd really recommend this book and it was a great book thank you